Everybody said, yeah. Amen. God bless you. Well, this morning we're going to sing, and if you'd like to stand, you can do that. If you'd like to clap, I have two requirements. Be perfect on time. <laughs> uh, just forget it. You can clap if you want to clap. So. <laughs>
Lord, we thank you for that love that you've given us, Lord, that you do bring life, Lord, in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our struggle. Lord, that you are life, and we just recognize it today. Lord, we take this day to think on you. Lord, we take this time right now, Lord, even in our service, Lord, we take this time to just recognize your life. Lord, that you died for us on the cross, that you gave us life, Lord, you give us hope today. Thank you for it, Lord. We can rejoice, Lord. We can, re we can sing songs of praise, Lord, because of you, Lord, in the midst of it all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You realize you set us free today? Amen. And we are, I love this, we are ch children of the King. You're a child of God this morning.
And then we see it, you know, it's kind of like the little refrain that says, and you, and you love me. You see all that goes on, and you, and you know that you still love me. Amen. I don't want to stand on that promise today. Amen. Let's sing it. He knows my name. He knows. praise today, Lord, that that's what you've created us for, to know you and to be with you. Lord, we thank you for a reminder again, Lord, that we need it again. We need it in our hearts, Lord. We need it today, Lord, that you have called us together for this time, Lord, that you've called us and allowed us to worship you and to love you, Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
It's this, it says, in the garden. It says, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me that I am his own. And the joy we share is we tarry there. Now, that other has ever known. Aren't you glad that he walks with you? He says, I want to. Well, maybe I'm not there. Today's your day. He says, Lord, I want to learn to do that. And he walks with me and he talks with me.
that he would just know that you are not distant, Father. That you're there and you care. Father, we thank you that you see us today. You see us in our mess, Lord. You see us in our lives. Lord, that, that you died for us. That you gave yourself for us. Lord, thank you. Thank you for a chance to say thanks. Thank you for an opportunity, to, Lord, to be together and, and to thank you today. Lord, we thank you that you see our needs. And you said you would meet them. Lord, today there's some people that are hurting physically, Lord, that are going through some struggles. Lord, some people that are in hospice care that are beyond what medical says can do. But Lord, we know they're in your hands. We just pray right now. Lord, we pray for those who are going through cancer, for those who are facing issues that we don't even know what it is. Lord, we thank you for just being there. Lord, we thank you for the recovery we've seen from some. Lord, we thank you that you're there. And Lord, we pray that you just give us your grace and mercy. Lord, give us enough for today. Give us our day to go. We just ask, Lord, that you would just help us, Lord, as we go through this life. You see our hurts. Lord, you see those who are grieving because we've lost loved ones. Lord, you see that it doesn't stop. Lord, that, that we've lost loved ones for years. And Lord, it still hurts. Father, we just look to you today for our comfort. We look to you for help, Lord. We pray that you would give us strength for today. Lord, and hope for tomorrow. That's what we ask. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to just be your hands extended. Lord, that we would be able to share this love. We'd be able to share, Lord, it's not about us. It's not because we're so good. It's not because we have great hearts. It's because you love. We pray that you would just use us. Help us to, to care. Help us, Lord, to, to ask you for direction. Lord, help us to live by your spirit. Live by your lead, Jesus. And Lord, help us to focus our life on you. Lord, we pray that you would help us as individuals today, as families, as a church body, Lord, that we would focus on you. Lord, that it would be about you and your message of hope. Lord, that we would be about you and worshiping you. Lord, that we wouldn't be distracted by any of the other things that you would help us and lead us. Lord, even in this day, that we don't miss out. Lead us now and uh, as we continue this time together, Lord, to just think on you and to love you. Lord, just to be encouraged in you, to know that you are here with us. And we're blessed because we came and we bless your name. And all God's people said, Amen. God bless you. May we see you this morning.
I always think, well, that's kind of cool, but I won't get to see my uncle. But he made that picnic so that I could have it. And so he says, I want you to, I want to take time. And so we, we do thank you. And I thank those of you that have served in the armed forces, that have given your time and your service. And those of you that know you've been affected by family members, I just, I say even thank you to you to realize what the sacrifice you've made. Uh, and we just honor them today. And, and we, we recognize that God wants us to, to honor that. He said that to honor those who are worthy of honor. Did you know that? So he tells us to do that. Uh, and so we're, we do that today. Uh, I want to also just share a couple of quick announcements with you before we get into our time. And you're gonna we're going to be in Luke chapter 22 today. So if you want to look there, you can jump ahead. But I do want to announce that we are... Because of Memorial Day, able to have a wonderful picnic here. And so I've ordered 100 degree weather to make sure you knew it was a picnic. And uh, so, but we're going to meet here at, at 12 o'clock downstairs, and we've got all this room outside. Uh, we're going to set up some shade, and then we got room inside, and we'll have the air conditioner on. And uh, so, what do we have to ask you to do? Well, if you come, if you can, what we ask you to do is bring a uh, a dish to share with everybody. So something you like, uh, don't bring the leftover vegetables that nobody ate. Uh, bring something you like, and uh, and we'll share that together. And then the church will provide uh, hot dogs and something to drink and paper, plastic forks, and all that kind of stuff will be provided here. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But just come and join us. And if you can't bring something, just come anyway, because we want to. We just want to be with you. Uh, so reminding you of that, and we will play some games. We've got some. We've got a nice grassy area out here. We've got a few fun games that we thought we'd try, uh, but no softball this year. So sorry to disappoint you guys. Uh, and then just don't forget, we do have our yard sale coming up uh, June 23rd through 26th. There's a lot of things you can do for that. You can be praying right now just for that, because it's an opportunity for us to just love people and uh, to be able to interact and share a little bit. But also you can help, uh, you know, we need to haul some stuff, uh, you can help in setting up on the Wednesday of the sale on the 23rd, you can help in tearing down, you can help by coming and being a person that sells, you can come if you don't want to be a person who sells, then we need people that just clean up and kind of keep things neat and nice and there's all kinds of things you can do. So if you want to be involved, there's an opportunity for you. And I just actually see Michelle. She can get you some direction on that, when, where, how, and all those things. And, and just be flexible because it changes all the time. So we, we know that. But thank you for that. Also, I just want to mention, we do have a kids camp that we're going to be doing. And we've got at least two that are going. And we were going to be going, uh, we were going to be doing a district camp that's all put together. And come to find out, they closed it off to us. It was all filled up. And so we're doing a special on our own. Uh, but we're making it up. We've got some things all planned out. And we've got, I, I just have to tell you this because I want to share it with you. Um, we have a, a little fund in our uh, budget that is somebody gave specifically. said, I don't want any kid not to ever be able to go to camp. And so what, what, what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, fund the camp through that and use it so that our kids get to go to camp, and then we're not going to ask the kids to pay or the counselors to pay or anybody to pay, but we're going to do it that way. So if you would like to make that fund not go down, you're welcome to be a part of that. Just put a little thing on a note, mark it kids camp, and stick it in, and we'll make sure it gets into that. And if you don't, we're going to make this, we're going to make sure that it happens anyway, but I just want to share that with you. Uh, so that's, that's our plan for kids camp, and that's coming up in just a couple weeks, so we're excited about that. Okay, so this morning as we think about, again, Memorial Day, we, we talked about honoring uh, those who have served, and we stop and, and we do it uh, as a church, but also it's important for us to, to realize that uh, Jesus said that I gave my life for you, and what did he say when he established what we call communion or the Lord's Supper? He said, do this in... Remembrance, right. We just, we've talked about 
remembering God. We talked about not forgetting God. And if, you remember, if you've been around here for the past few months, you've heard at least two messages on remembering and not forgetting. They're kind of similar. And it's the same thing because it's through Scripture. That's what God says all the time. Is he say, don't forget about me. Don't, don't leave me out. Don't just go through the routines. Don't just get caught up. Don't just go, go, go. But take time and set aside time to think about what you're doing and think about why you're doing it. I think about, well, what are we doing? It's because of what Jesus has done. It's because of who he is. It's because of our need. And we recognize him. And he says, take time to do that. So, so we do that today. So here in, in Luke chapter 22, I'm going to read uh, a little bit of this. And you can follow along if you have your Bible. I'm going to read it in NIV. And if you don't have your Bible or you want to just listen, you can listen. If you want to, this is the only time I say this is maybe a good idea. If you want to close your eyes and just picture what's happening. Just at the end of the reading, try to open your eyes back up and, uh, and join us here. So here I go, Luke chapter 22, and I'm starting with verse 7. And it says this, it says, Then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. And Jesus sent Peter and John saying, Go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Where do you want us to prepare for it? They asked. And he replied, As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters and say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is the guest room? where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. He'll show you a large room upstairs, all furnished. Make preparations there. And they left and they found things as Jesus had told them. And they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I'll not eat it again till it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks. And he said, This, take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who is going to betray me is, is mine and it's at the table. And he's talking about, of course, Judas. So I'm going to stop right there. We think about this time, and it, it's very appropriate that it was really a memorial. And it was based on a memorial. See, that was the time God said, God said, you're to eat this Passover. And what was the Passover to represent? What was the time that God delivered them, a Savior, delivered them out of Egypt? He says, I want you to remember that. I want you to take time. I want you to talk about that, what? With your children and with your grandchildren. All those around. He says, I want you to remember that. I want you to, to think about that. And so it's it's this memorial. It's based on, on God's memorial. It's based on these things. But this is even bigger. Jesus said, like, that was that was a memorial to remind you of what I've done and what I'm going to do. And it really it points to what's what I'm about to do for you. And so I want you to now not just remember the Passover, but remember. What was he going to do? Go to the cross and die for them. Give his life for them. So I want you to, I want you to take time and remember this. This is bigger. This is now not just freedom. It's not just you have a place to go. It's not just that you have a house to live in. It's not just that you have free uh, speech. It's not all those things. This is bigger than that. This is that you have life, even if you. This is that you would have life, that you would have, have spiritual life, that you would have spiritual deliverance. It's more special. And in verse 15, I love this, it says, Jesus says this, it says, I've desired to eat this meal with you. I, I want to be with you. And we sang some songs this morning, and you realize I said, God wants to be with you. 
And when we think about the price that he's paid, he says, do this in remembrance of you. He says, remember, I did this because I want to be with you. I desired to eat this with you. In the book of Revelation, he writes to the church and he says this, he says, I'm standing at the door, what? Knocking. And if you'll open the door, what do you, say, what do, you do? He says, I'll come in and I'll eat with you. And you with me. Of this relationship, he says, if you'll seek me, if you'll, if you'll open the door, he says, I want to. I'm knocking. I'm asking. I'm, okay, now, now we're going to do a little prayer here to invite God into this time. And I always have to, when I do this, I always think, okay, I've got to give you a little, I forget what this is, the word I'm trying to think of, but I have to tell you this ahead of time because some people will say, well, you don't have to invite God in. He's everywhere, right? I know that. Okay, I'm, I'm well aware that God is everywhere. He doesn't need our permission. But there's something about, he said, I'm waiting for you. I'm knocking. Will you ask me? And so today, as a, as a body, as we're here, I know God's here. I know he doesn't need our permission. I know it's not about us, but it's about us taking our arms and saying, God, I invite you into my thinking right now. I invite you to this place, Lord. I, I do want to fellowship with you. I recognize that you paid for this meal. I don't want to take that life. Would you pray with me? Lord, we just ask, even now, as we're spending this time, that you would just be in this place. Or that you would be in our, in our heart and in our thinking. It's not just about a service. It's about you. Help us to honor you. Help us to eat with you. Teach us to have a, a meal with you and to share this time. Amen. <coughs> um, I don't have the words of this for you. I didn't ask me to do it, but maybe just those of you that know, I think we just sing it this morning as a as an invitation. <coughs> it says, it says, Holy Spirit, So Jesus said it this way. He says, I want you to do this again in remembrance, memorial. I want you to remember. I want you to set it aside. And so, so we have a, a time today that we set aside to do this. What was he doing with the disciples? I think it's kind of interesting. I think he was, one, he's preparing them. He says, I want you to remember uh, that I died for you. And I don't want you to live as if I didn't die for you. I, I'm paying a great price. And I want you to recognize that. I want you to be reminded about that. Think about if someone took you out to a meal, you would be pretty uh, thoughtful. That they, they paid for it. And I think one of the things about remembering is, is it's just like stopping. You ever, I, I remember this as a kid. You know, mom and dad, if we did something, they'd say, hey, they, they, they went out of their way to do this for us. You make sure you honor what they did. You make sure you think about it. You make sure that you that you don't take it for granted. That you don't just do it. He says, I want to, I want to prepare you. And Jesus really 
takes the disciples aside and says, like, hey, I want you, to, I want you to see what I'm doing for you. I want you to remember. I want you to, to understand that this is not just a, a light thing. This is not just something that doesn't matter. I want you to remember. And so today as we... As we do that, we want to remember. We want to remember the price. We want to remember the sacrifice. He says, I want you to remember, and get this, that I'm with you. That I didn't leave you. That I, that I want you to remember that this is God's plan, that, I, that you would know, and that I would be with you, that I do want to eat with you, and that's why I paid. Think about that. There's a reason I went to the cross. Why? Because I want to be with you. He says, I want you to remember that today. As we take communion today, as we as we share this time together, it's not just about a, a, a doing, you know, like, oh, we did our thing, and so God's happy with it. It's about saying, God, I remember that you want to be with me. I remember that you paid the price. I remember that you said you didn't leave me. I remember that this is all about you, and it's not about me. And I recognize that, and I don't, I don't take it lightly. You know what happens when we do that? It's amazing, but... Faithfulness, it changes us, doesn't it? It changes the way we live. It changes the way we think. It changes all those things about us when we begin to forget about ourselves and say, thank you for what you did. It changes us. And so we remember today. And so when I think about the Memorial Day, you know, it's kind of interesting. When I, when I really recognize the price that was paid, when I really recognize what people have done, you know what it does? It makes me a better citizen. I tend to want to, to care more. And, and I don't just, you know, I don't just do things for no reason, but I just I have more of a heart. Because why? Because I know people have really given for this. When I take communion and I recognize that, you know what? It makes me want to love him. It makes me want to give more. Not, not that I have to, but I want to. So it, it changes changes us, doesn't it? So today as we do this, it's not, again, just a ceremony. It's not just you know, make you more holy. If you do this, you have less sins. Or whatever. No, it's saying, Jesus, I remember you. And because of that, he said, I want you to take it seriously. I want you to not just do it lightly. And so today, I just let you know, uh, we're going to do this together. If you're, if, if, if you know Jesus and you're walking around with him. You notice I didn't say you're perfect. You have everything together. But I said, if you just are depending on Jesus and you want to honor him, then you're invited to just join us and do this. If, you, if, you're, if you're not comfortable with that, there's nothing you need. No, don't worry. Don't take it. Just say, he said, I, I, I would rather you say, I honor you by saying, I realize that I'm not ready for that. That's fine. But he says, if you take it, just know what you're taking. And you're saying, thank you, Jesus. I recognize that. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of instruction. Um, we've got these uh, little communion containers that are very COVID-friendly. And uh, they have juice and cracker in them. The juice is the red part. <laughs> the cracker is the other side. These... Are even better than the other ones because you can, you can do either side and you don't mess up. They've got a big kind of tab on them. You can do it. And I want to just let you come and get these on your own as we sing and just think about the sacrifice Jesus made. If you have trouble getting up, uh, Randy's going to help you. He'll just kind of get his attention and he'll give you some help. If you have, if you think you're going to have trouble opening it, we'll help you open it too. They're pretty big tabs, and I'm just kind of trying these. So sorry for the advertisement in the middle of worship, but I just want to explain it to you so you know. And then what we want you to do is just hang on to it, and we'll we'll take it together as we do that. So I'm going to uh, just sing this song. Actually, I think I forgot to give these to Dan too. You can put it in there once again, the words. Um, thank you, Dan, for being on the ready. I throw things at him all the time. Uh, we appreciate Kim. She's on a special trip today, all she does. And thank you. But we're going to just sing this and, uh, again, think about the sacrifice that he made. And as we do, uh, just kind of take your time and you can come up and, and get one of these. Give, 
give everybody a little space if you want to give them space. If you don't, then we'll throw you out. <laughs> we partake together, we share this time, we do recognize the Lord gave his body, broken. My thing didn't come out right. In pieces. But how appropriate your brokenness, your messed upness, since I took it for you. When Jesus had given thanks,
says, in the same way, he took the cup, saying, this is the new covenant of my blood. Do this when you drink it in remembrance. Let's partake of that, which represents the Lord's blood. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, my friend. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, my friend. Once again at the cross, the cross where you died, I'm broken by death and I'm broken inside. Once again I thank you, once again I pour out my life. And say, Thank you. 
today, and we pray, Lord, that you would hear our prayer. Lord, hear our hearts, and Lord, see that we recognize what you've done for us, Lord, that we just are drawn to that, Lord. And we pray that you would help us, Lord, to, to really understand, Lord, the gift, to really understand the price that's paid, to really live, Lord, for you, to give you ourselves. pray that you would help us to recognize you. Let's sing one more time as we just dismiss this morning. Uh, and, uh, Once again.